from Ozarks First. You're watching Color 10 News at 10. In leaving the decision of how to kill her up to the defendant, you never told him to stab her 17 separate times, right? No. Oh. And, and you certainly didn't tell him to cut her neck down to the bone, right? No. And gruesome details coming out, in fact, today during Nicholas John's murder trial. His then-girlfriend, you saw right there, Gypsy Blanchard, testified in front of the jury today about their plan to kill her mother, Dee Dee, back in 2015. Color 10's Colin Lingo is at the Greene County Courthouse today and joins us in the studio for a wrap-up of day three of this first-degree murder trial. Colin, what did we learn today? Well, we learned that according to Gypsy Blanchard, she was the leader in planning the murder of her mother, Dee Dee, back in 2015. But we also learned that the prosecution is a little more interested in focusing on go to John's mental ability to know murder is wrong. When court adjourned on Thursday, it did so after hours of witness testimony. Two called by the defense, one a rebuttal witness called by the prosecution. The first of the two defense witnesses, Gypsy Blanchard. She started the day by speaking mainly about how she was the one who planned the murder of her mother, Dee Dee Blanchard. I supplied the knife. Where did you get the knife? I stole it from Walmart. And while the prosecution has tried this week to prove it was a calculated collaboration between Gypsy and Gota John, that's hardly the foundation of their case. Thanks, Judge. Instead, prosecutor Dan Patterson and his team are seemingly trying to convince jurors not that Gota John was the mastermind. Just that he had the mental capacity to consider the murder of Dee Dee Blanchard before allegedly committing that crime. It's associated with neuropsychological impairment. And that leads us to the second of the two witnesses called by the defense, a psychologist, Dr. Kent Franks, who spoke mainly about Go to John's mental limitations. What did you diagnose Mr. Go to John with? Autism spectrum disorder. However, after an intense cross examination by Prosecutor Patterson, his mother reported that I he didn't did ask you about what his mother reported. It was time for the prosecution to call its own psychologist. So that's what the chart looks like there, correct? Dr. Robert Denning, who says Nicholas Godijan has enough mental capacity to have contemplated the murder he's accused of. Let me show you what I've marked this paper. Now that final witness there, Dr. Denning, he was questioned by prosecution but has yet to be cross-examined by the defense. That kicks off tomorrow morning. After that, we're expecting both prosecution and defense to rest, meaning it'll be time for the jury to either convict or acquit. Nicholas, go to John. And we'll be following it every step of the way. Caller 10's Colin.